security into Kana County and other neighboring counties. Now speaking while distributing relief food into Kana, Domorukai has urged the government to identify and prosecute leaders who are said to be uh, to be uh, funding animosity among residents in the region as a determined uh, as a determined measure. Now here are the details of that particular story. For a long time now, cases of insecurity have remained a thorny issue for residents of Turkana and other neighboring counties. This sorry state has seen innocent lives lost in numerous attacks by bandits, presenting a major headache in the security apparatus in the country. The most recent attack that claimed the lives of police officers has got area governor Jeremiah Lomurukai worried. We must isolate that team, a team that is how to kill, to maim and murder our people. That is a, not, that's not a team that will accommodate us Kenyans. Lasima to awake a candle, let us pack them aside. Because Kenyans should not belong to thieves, to maim us, to people whose responsibility in this country is to kill and maim people. Governor Lomrukai has attributed the attacks to a clique of leaders in the region. These leaders, he says, have been sponsoring violence to serve their own malicious interests. Lomrukai has now made a passionate appeal to President William Ruto to identify these leaders and prosecute them. <laughs> And I want to appeal to our able president of the Republic of Kenya that anybody, any politician that has taken issues of maiming, killing, murdering people, those leaders must be brought to book. And a serious action equivalent to what they are doing be taken against them. This, not without a warning though. Governor Lomurukai is concerned if those involved in insecurity cases are not identified and made to pay for their actions, then the problem will escalate to the national level. I'm just appealing to the president. That should not be taken lightly. Our watu wenye wanaua askari na wanaenda scot free bila kuguswa watasoya na watakuja kuua at the rice. Henry Tende, Look Up TV.